Anyway, this is the real exciting thing for me right now. I just finished a, a little dashboard so I can set stuff up there when I'm going down the road or whatever, like when I go to the drive through It's nice to have a place to set the lunch or whatever. Then the big improvement is up here. We've added a, a shelf to which, see all the cell all the so solar panels are gonna be devoted to the 48 volt system. And I need, I've ordered a, it should just fit right in here, uh, a small 12 volt solar panel to charge the 12 volt system. Since it's an auxiliary system, it's, uh, it doesn't, it just needs a steady trickle charge to keep it up. And um, anyway, so it's going to also provide me a little, a little shade on the windshield there, block the headlights a little bit. It makes it for a real nice view up in here. I really like it. Let's see my rearview mirrors. That's pretty nice. Rearview mirrors over there. Rearview mirror over there. Anyway. And see when that's when that solar panel's up there. I made it out of the old windshield, so it's all messed up. I may even paint it, but I didn't figure it was good necessary. Anyway, uh, solar cell be up there and sitting there. That's gonna give me a nice little sunshade. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> then, um, I'm real proud of this little dude. All I gotta do is, uh, unlike the last time, I gotta wait for. I've got some wires and connectors coming in, so I can get it wired up and that's it uh, I did uh, think better of uh, how I said I was going to wire it um, right now the battery goes straight to the load here to the trike now on this setup here the batteries the cells are going to the panels are going to feed here the battery is going to be hooked into there that means that is the battery that's going to be going up to there and this is the load which is a protected load so I'm going to put that to the load it already has protection of its own and hopefully they won't interfere with each other but uh, it's just like double protected is what I'm kind of redundant but I think that's the proper way to do it and then uh, and then this thing's being utilized like it's supposed to it has a temperature sensor on it uh, or that I can wire into this, but uh, I'm not sure where I would put that. I really don't have any temperature problems. Everything's out in the open, and and uh, I don't have no hot wires or anything like that yet. Of course, this 48 volts is going to be a, a different deal. Heavier wires for sure. Anyway, real excited. Everything's hooked up. The lights are all working. Horns working. Rearview mirrors are on. Windshields on. Isn't it just a little a little cutie? I love the how the windshield turned out. That uh, I just love it. And, uh, of course, I did crack it, and that's a shame. But next time I'll do better. I get another thirty-five bucks, forty bucks. Anyway, we'll get some animal shots. We have. Thank you. 
I did last time. It was torture. I had a uh, rock creek hill. That was one long haul. Hopefully, it'll make it all the way. 
mine, even as hard as I worked, it still didn't make it either way. Sometimes I had to get a a little bit of the big hills. Very disappointing it was. Well, we started out with a battery that was empty. That didn't help. His wife unplugged the solo that night. I was talking off the charge. But this new setup, I don't know that I have to even plug it in to charge top it up at all. It's, uh, it's constantly, during the daylight and the sunshine, it's constantly charging at the rate of about point over a half an amp. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's enough to run this thing without getting into the battery at all. Thank you. 